What's up guys? This is Sohrab with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. I've been away for a while due to some personal stuff that has been going on and I've also had a lot of things to do at work recently so I've been pretty busy but um, now I'm back. So far, we have gone through some of the basic concepts of creating games in Unreal Engine 4. You can see a list of the previous episodes in the description section below. In the coming couple of episodes, I want to focus on a very important aspect of creating games in Unreal Engine 4. And that is creating NPC behavior or AI which might include enemies, allies, or other non-playable playable characters. To do this, you need to know how to set up the AI or the brain for your characters so that they can behave the way you want them to. And you have to also set up the animations so what they visually do is consistent with their behavior. We'll start uh, with um, the AI part and I'll focus on a fundamental concept for creating AI in this video. There are lots of videos online regarding AI in Unreal Engine 4, but I have not seen any videos teaching what is in my opinion the most fundamental concept for creating AI. We will begin by focusing on this concept, which is the concept of finite state machines. This is the foundation that we'll build upon for both the animation part and the AI part in the future. So let's begin. In order to teach you about this, we'll create a simple AI character that follows the player uh, as long as it sees the player. Before we start, a quick look at what I mean by AI. So, what I mean by AI for non-playable ca playable characters is the ability to perceive uh, the environment and take actions that um, maximize its chances of achieving a specific goal. So, let's take a look at our own character. So we are here in this beautiful mountain landscape and all of a sudden we see a temple. So we become curious and we go towards the temple and we see a chest. So we have to go close, but oh, look here. There is like a big guy standing and watching the chest. So if we try to go close, all of a sudden he charges at us, but he's quite slow so we can easily run away but then if he this distance is far enough he just goes back to his chest if we try to do this again the same thing happens again so basically he follows us when he sees us and then he goes back to his position when uh, he doesn't see us anymore or when the distance is far enough so, in this video, we will set up the character states, and in the next video, we will script the logic for this character. So, to start, just create a third person project, and um, the first uh, step is to set up the um, enemy, but before that just open your player character and as you can see I've just adjusted the camera a little bit to make it a first person. So if you want you can select the camera and adjust it um, as I did or just leave it as it is. So in order to create the enemy or the NPC just create a folder for it first, as I've called it enemies, or you can call it whatever you want. And under that, create a subfolder tutorial NPC. 
and inside uh, you can create a folder called AI and um, you can create another folder called blue prints so after that it's time to create the enemy itself so go to your player character and just duplicate it and call it npc1 open it and inside you will want to delete all the script as we will not need it and you can also delete the camera boom and the camera because we don't need that either and after you created that npc just move him to the blueprints folder that you just created so that's it now we have our enemy or npc character blueprint so now we get to the main part of the video and that is setting up the states so what is the that this concept that is so important so finite state machines a finite state machine is an abstract machine that can be in one of a finite number of states the machine is only in one state at a time the state it is in at any given time is called the current state it can change from one state to another when initiated by it by triggering uh, when certain conditions are met and this is called a transition so in order to have a finite um, state machine which I have written incorrectly here which I will correct now F FSM you need a list of its states and also you need the, the triggering conditions the conditions that trigger the transitions a simple example of this is a traffic light so the traffic light it can it can be in three states red yellow or green only one state at a time and the conditions for triggering the transition can be specific time after which the, the states change or it can be uh, sensors that it has that triggers transitions so another example of this in unreal engine 4 can be found in animation blueprints so go to the folder mannequin animations and open the first file which is the animation blueprint for our um, player character and under graph, uh, go to anim graph and you see a node called state machine. Just click on that and you come here to the state machine. So here these nodes are the states and the arrows are the transitions. The circles are the conditions for transitions. Um, we'll go through this in the later episodes when we look at the animations but if you're curious you can dig into it and see if you can figure it out so now back to our own character so the character uh, the goal is to create a character that follows the player when it sees the player and when it loses sight uh, it goes back to uh, its initial position so now as i said before we need two things we need the states and the condition for transition um, i will use the animation blueprint again just to demonstrate this for you instead of using the powerpoint so first step is to identify the states as i said there is observing for the player and there is following so we have two states 
we have the watch state and we have the follow state so now the condition so we have the states the next thing is to define the conditions for transition the transitioning from watch to follow happens when npc observes the player and the condition from uh, the transition from follow to watch happens when he is not seeing the player anymore or if there is a far enough distance between them so let's just delete this and uh, so the next question is how to specify these states in Unreal Engine 4 as you have seen there is a built-in function for this in the animation blueprint but how do we do this in normal blueprints you might ask well there are different ways of doing this and none of them are right or wrong for example you can use boolean variables to say that you're in state or not or you can use integers and say you are in state 0 state 1 2 or 3 However, I tend to use enumerations, or enums in short, for this purpose. The idea is that instead of using an integer to represent a set of values, use instead um, names, user-defined names that you can use. So instead of saying 1, 2, 3, 4, you say red green yellow orange or whatever uh, so they still represent integers but there is like a label label for that so how to do this just go back to the folder that we created for our npc and go to the ai folder and right click in the content content browser uh, under blueprints you see something enumeration and you can just write um, states npc1 or something and when you double click on it you see something like this click on new and add watch and click one more time and add follow so now we have created an enumeration which represents our states you can add more if you want just by clicking new and you can uh, click on this cross sign here to delete them. so the next step is to script what we have come up with and this we'll do in the next episode so that's it for this time Guys and girls, thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, just leave them in the comment section. Again, thank you for watching and see you in the next